Hey, Dan, how are we? Hey, Paulie. Good, mate. How are you? Good, good. I see you're uh, sitting pretty in the studio over there. I am and loving it. And it looks like you're somewhere pretty tropical. Yes, yes. I've made it to the Bahamas for the day. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just in uh, my parents' backyard, which is fantastic. We're uh, in the middle of a renovation in our home and we're lodging at my parents' house, which has been incredibly generous of them. And it's been just one big happy family, which is lovely. <laughs> Great to hear. Hopefully it's uh, all going really well. Sure is. Um, you know, I, we were talking off air but about, you know, the concept of empowering people to be able to take health into their own hands. And I just wanted to really crystallize that concept for a moment. And the, the whole concept of teaching a man to fish versus giving a man a fish for the day uh, is such a powerful thing to be able to do. And I feel like um, we've really crafted the hero program to be able to do that, whether it's at the end of the foundations program for 12 weeks or, uh, you know, a while down the track, it's about somebody being able to take ownership and accountability for their own health and also developing the, the own, their own tools to be able to move into the future with their health. And hero is something that I, I'm really proud of saying that we can, we can actually, um, say that most of our, our dads that have chosen to take their health into their own hands after these programs are continuing to, um, you know, excel in, in their health goals, which is remarkable, really. Yeah, it's quite amazing. I mean, to, to start off, have a conversation with a prospect, someone who's interested in working with us and then taking them on a journey to really be able to guide them so they know how to take the best care of themselves. Um, it really starts with purpose uh, and intention and just crystallizing what that is. And really the key ingredient that I see that is just like a theme throughout so many conversations is the desire to be a great role model and to build healthy habits and practices. So not only are they sustainable, so each dad can thrive, but also to be the best partner and the best father and have the energy, have the ability to squat down low and pick up a baby or run around with the kids who are a bit older. But that's really what the, at the heart of the matter, that's what the desire is, is to be an active uh, participant in, in their kids' lives and, and also to be around. I mean, not, not to speak too morbidly, but ultimately it's like, it really is life or death. Um, you know, it's an important thing to just like reflect on and to take a moment and see where you are, check in with your health and see what practices you're bringing into your life and whether they're healthy or unhealthy, you know, what choices are you going to make to, you know, take the best care of yourself so you can be there for your family. And so getting that uh, intention and purpose really clear at the start is the way to develop through a 12 week program where Motivation might dip one moment. Uh, there might be excitement the next moment. They might stretch for longer days or weeks. But when your intention is really clear, it's always the thing to draw back to and lean on. And so role modeling, contributing, giving, I mean, not only does it nourish each of us individually, but it supports a family. And then of course you just excel and thrive professionally and in other areas of life too. I mean, that's the experience of our hero clients. Absolutely. And that's exactly why we drill down so much on mindset and understanding that um, all the tools in the world, when it comes to physical uh, development, they actually mean nothing if you don't have the most empowering mindset you can possibly have. And obviously a prerequisite is to have a, an incredibly powerful program to be able to execute, but without mindset being at the forefront of that, without knowing your why and without revisiting that why on a regular basis, um, you lose track of, uh, of why you're actually doing these, these programs in the first place. And it's just a great practice to continue to revisit it in a cyclical manner because your why will change as well as you grow and develop as an individual and a family unit. Um, but I found that that has been um, the biggest ingredient for the long-term success of our clients 
uh, finding that why and revisiting it. And obviously the programming is a, is, an, is a big thing, but we can talk about that another time. I really just wanted to sit on the power of why um, this transformation is so, so special to our dads. So I think a great actionable step for everybody that's listened to this is if you're looking to make a, a profound change in your life, through fitness um, or some sort of physical or, or mental development, find your why. Sit down and have a think about it and ask yourself why five times and continue to drill down until you can't find that, until you can't find why anymore. You want to get to the source, to the soul of it. Yeah, I love that. And ultimately it's a challenge to do that. And it sometimes can be. And that's what jumping on a call with Paul and myself is all about. We'll, we'll uh, delve deep into where you're at and where you want to go and see if uh, we can kind of offer some solutions and a direction um, that will help you start to build that positive habit forming muscle, um, which is the kind of silent muscle that we like to think we uh, explore and spend a lot of time on. Because when you dial that in, you know, all other kind of health practices start to flourish. So, uh, yeah, hope to hear from you. And uh, thanks again, Paulie. Thanks, Dan.